And uh, Tom O'Brien, we uh, are going to have oil, and <laughs> we, I'm going to just put this chart up first. If you want to see a ride in oil last night, folks, okay, this is uh, pretty amazing. Uh, this, this contract here, we're trading the February contract, gets up to 65.65, and we're at 61.98 right now. Yeah. yeah. When I was, <clears throat> excuse me, doing the 9 a.m. update, said almost $4, man, $4 from high to low on that oil contract just from the peak to the low. I mean, everything, of course, moving last night. We talked about the S&Ps almost had 2% from low to high. Yes. Uh, gold contract, right? We oh, haven't yeah. talked about quite yet. What was the high in gold? 16, 16 13. 13. Yep. So Monster. you're talking about $35 um, about on gold yeah. as in the high <laughs> to low. And no. um, oil, of course, we get the inventory numbers. I see you have the screen up there right now. Yeah, the whisper number up here. We got the whisper number is, so let's see, the whisper number is draw down to 5.9 million. The survey number is 3.2. Okay. So they're looking for a drawdown regardless of where they are, right? Survey number, yeah, a little bit less so than the whisper number that Bloomberg users are looking for. Uh, the contract, we got it up here. We're at about 61.75. We're trading February crude oil. Like you mentioned, we made it all the way up to about 65, 62, almost $66 last night. So there's the contract. I jumped ahead. Uh, here are the 11 a.m. spreads available. Now we're trading right now 61.74. Cool thing about these is the 11 a.m.s line up with exposure right from 61.75 so we're within about wow. a few pennies yeah which is always nice so you're not paying a lot of intrinsic value you're just paying premium in terms of time and defined risk here's your bullish spread going from basically right where we're at up a buck 50 to 63.25 there's your bullish spread you're risking about 27 dollars you're getting in at 62.03 you would be risking down to 61.75. So as this is ticking up a bit, that's ticking up a little bit as well. And then on the bearer side, pretty similar. The only difference being that you have about five pennies now of intrinsic value on the bullish side. So you're looking at about 48 as this is recalibrating, 48, 49, call it $50 with commission. So you're looking at about 50 cents of movement you would need in either direction before you begin to break even. The thing to keep in mind, especially on a day like today, is that if you're only exiting one of these contracts, right, you're risking 50 cents for both sides of it. Yes. But you're, you're capped at a buck 50 of profit potential. And oh. it's just important to keep in mind when you're putting up 50 cents, basically $50, which represents 50 cents in movement in the contract, right? Sure. Um, because man, oh man, you know, you're, you're risking one to make three if you get maximum movement, if you get a buck 50 by 11 a.m. Now, on a day like today, you could, you know, yeah. because Trump is speaking at 11 a.m. Now, here's what I would say is that, so there's the 11. I would maybe want to go out till noon, especially with President Trump speaking. Right. Um, at 11 o'clock, the, the thing being is that, is that noon you have $62.00. So you'd be about 20 cents in the negative, unfortunately, as in not quite the same. But this is ticking up as we continue to speak. Maybe this will get up to $62 by the time um, 1030 rolls around. Because there's your bullish spread. You're going to be out of the money on the bullish side now by about 15 cents. But this has just moved 10 pennies since we've been talking. And then on the flip side, there's your bearish spread, which you now have a little bit of intrinsic value. And so you're looking at... $62. Now, number one, you're paying for the time. The market knows that, number one, that's a that's a lot of time on a day like today with everything going on with President Trump speaking at 11 a.m. There's going to be some premium priced into that as well. Uh, but it's also 18 cents away from the strike price. So you're paying all that intrinsic value on the bearish side along with the premium that you're paying of about $24 on each side. Yeah, and in a huge way. I mean, What I would say, though, the last thing is that, man, oh, man, on a day like today, if you're ever going bearish the price of oil just in general i like the bearish side trade where you're getting in at 61.60 the contract's trading at 61.77 and you're capped at losses at 62 on a day like today where you just almost traded up to 66 yeah that's, that's not a bad trade to pay a little bit of premium cap your losses to the upside when who knows what is about to be said by the president and who knows what's about to happen um before noon oh, yeah. um and you're not paying a lot of you know you're paying you know, there, there is a bid offer spread today, and that's representing some of the premium more so than usual. Uh, but you're getting in 18 cents below the market with uh, with some, some decent up loss um, defined risk, right? Yeah, there's no doubt.
Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is up 16. NASDAQ up 21. S&P is up 8. Let's see what we got with the... Uh, oh, I can actually go live. Let's see what... We must have top live, I believe. We uh, must have plenty of oil because the price just dropped about 50 cents to 61.25 as we pull it oh, up. That's a beautiful thing. Top live. Here we go. Let's see what we got. Oh, oil. boy. Oil inventories rose. Yep. Rose, 1.6 million barrels. That's right, man. Gasoline Talk inventories about... rose, 9.1 million barrels. Wow. So to recap, what was it? Between about 3 and 6 million barrel draw the oh, market yeah. had been looking for? Yeah. Uh, it's not going to have it up there anymore, unfortunately. I oh. think once it goes off. Oh, does it? Yeah. Yeah, so let's see. Well, where is it? Well, anyway. Yeah, it, it jumps right off the screen, unfortunately, I think. Oh, I see. Well, i got to find out. I, 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 I went to uh, see what place we came in. Because I, I went, I didn't go for a draw, but I went for a, uh, I went for a draw, but like, like one point something million. Okay. Versus what was out there, so. Well, you would have been on the right side. You were looking for much less of a draw than the market was looking for. But uh, the contract right now, I have it up there on the Nadex platform. And yeah, that one bar, we opened it. It was as high as 61.89. You got February crude right now trading at 61.27. And so um, you got about 50 cents movement. You know, That's we were looking a, look at, at that move, man. I see it. Yeah, I can see a chart right now. Yeah, I mean, it, it looks small because we were just up at 66, man. Yeah. But on any other given day, um, this would be a mammoth drop of, of about 50, 60 cents in a heartbeat. Four and a half bucks. Unbelievable. Yeah.